Frank Seppi here for NPC News Online at the East Coast Mecca. Bev Francis Power Ops Jim. I'm here with IFBB Men's Physique Pro Quincy Whittington, and he's getting ready for the Arnold. So we got a posing video coming up, you know, shortly. So you look pretty good, man. How's your prep going? Uh, it's going good, man. It's uh, very motivating just being new, jumping on stage with, you know, these top guys. I look at it as, you know, a privilege and an honor to step on stage with uh, the top guys in the world and be from a small town. Um, it's like a hero, man. I deal with the kids. I train kids. That's my life. So it's basically showing them, hey, no matter where you're from, if you put your heart to anything, you can fulfill it. And this is your second pro show, right? So you placed top five in your first, mm -hmm. and now you're on to the Arnold. Have you ever been to the Arnold before? I've never been to the Arnold. I've all seen his clips on YouTube and heard about it, but like I said, I'm new to the sport, man. So I know that's why I'm, I'm jittery, but I'm excited. Yeah, you should. I mean, it's a great show. You, you know, everyone's going to be there. You know, it really doesn't matter who's on stage when you're competing against yourself. Yes, that's all I'm worried about is bringing my best to the stage and letting the judges, you know, judge me. Um, I don't get to the whole, you know, talking and, oh, this guy, he's a champion. I'm a competitor. I played football in my life, D1. Um, I want to go against the best, and I'm going to bring the best. Talk about the kids now, what you do for them and everything. Um, Basically, when I didn't make it, you know, to the NFL, that's, I felt like that's all I was able to do. That's what my life was supposed to be, and um, I got real depressed and uh, suicidal. And I started with my little brother, who's now at uh, UT, and my two cousins, who are UT and was at U of H. Um, I started training them, using them as my, you know, my rehab to clear my mind and it evolved into a business. And um, the kids are my life. Every day I wake up, I want to be a better person and the right person for them. Push them, teach them the importance of grades and education. Most of all, believe in yourself. Never let nobody tell you that you can't do anything. If you want it, put your heart into it and go get it. You're bringing kids to the show? Uh, it's hard to get them to you know, go to the Arnold. <laughs> watch the live feed? <laughs> uh, yeah, the live feed. I have a bunch of people watch it on Facebook and uh, people report it for me, but um, I know they're there in spirit and I know they want the best for me in that. No matter who's in the audience, all I'm thinking about is those kids back home because they're the reason I'm doing by it at all. They picked it for me to do to show them that not even step out of your comfort zone, pick something. If you put your heart to you can do it. How did you get involved in the NPC and then obviously we know I have the pro but how did you get involved in the NPC? Um like I was just saying there was a magazine at the gym and it was Phil Heat. Um, and the kids were being funny and seeing, you know, the uh, the trunks they were wearing. And they're like, <laughs> and they're like coach you got muscles, you should go do that. And I'm like, no. You know, so I looked into it, I found Man's Physique. I said, hey, I'll go do this. What y'all want me to do? Just go do a show. And, and their exact words were, no, coach, do like you teach us, go to the highest level. So I looked into it, I seen Pro and Olympia. So I turned Pro my first three shows in two months. And uh, this year I'm trying to chase Olympia to fulfill my promise. Now, um, you're from Texas, right? Where did you play football? I went to SMU. In what position? I was slot receiver. Oh, there you yeah. go. So you're yeah. bringing some, uh, some college football. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, people see you on Instagram, they see you on stage to talk about your tattoos. Mm -hmm. What is the significance of some of the tattoos? Uh, they all mean something. Yeah. There's nothing I regret. It's uh, powerful words. Um, people have died in my family. My whole back is my family because my family is my back. Um, whatever I do, it's, it's for them. Um, and most of all, you know, a lot of godly things. Faith is powerful. Um, and believe is one of the main words on me because there's times I didn't believe and when I started believing things changed. And I feel like everybody out there, all y'all, if you take a deep breath and believe and have patience and give them time to work, a lot of great things happen. There are a lot of NPC competitors out there who want to be in your position now. They look at you guys like, you know, wow, the guy's an IPB pro, I want to compete at the arm. What advice would you give to them, all those guys coming up, you know, how they can get their pro card? Take your time. Take it show by show, and don't compare yourself to nobody. You know, don't pick uh, Olympian and say, "Well, I look like him." It don't matter. Mm -hmm. um, do your part. Get a great coach, not a friend. Get a great coach, um, and just take it show by show, man. And it'll happen when it's meant to happen. Don't rush it. Don't get frustrated, and don't give up. But um, definitely, just take it show by show. Prepare, learn. It's all a learning process. Learn and get better, and it'll come. And how do people? Get in touch with you on social media. Uh, you can go to my Instagram at Quincy Whittington underscore IBB Pro, um, and you can follow my journey, see me training the kids, and just my consistency of being a good person and hard work and being positive. 
Um, but check me out. Keep following me. It's it's a sight to see. Something different, probably. Well, thank you for taking the time during your prep to talk to NBC News Online. Thank you. We wish you luck. Appreciate it. And check out Quincy on his Instagram. And check out all the videos that we have coming up uh, on NBC News Online and NBC News TV. This is Frank Seppi for NBC News Online.